Okay, back with another five effects tutorial. This time it's text based. The first text effect is a background reveal text. By going over here into the titles option and finding background reveal, putting that over your text, and it'll automatically do the effect for you. So basically done if you're fine with it being the back black background you can just resize it and so on you can add keyframes on the scale and just zoom it in to be well fully zoomed in so that you can you can now just see just the background and then the effect is basically done but you can also mess around with it a little bit if you don't want the black background by changing some of the settings and if you want to do this you have to come over here to background color and change the alpha now if you lower it all the way down you can see the background is back again but you can hardly read the text so i don't keep it on fully zeroed out if that makes any sense but you can add a, like a gaussian blur onto your initial background so that the text stands out and also a little bit of an alpha so that it's a bit darker and the text gets, stands out as well and then with all of those settings put together you get this the next effect we have is neon i know very creative to create this neon effect you want to have your background layer head over to fusion and add a text node and obviously change it to whatever font you want make it as simple or make it as creative as you as you want you can download any font you want online for free if you just search for free fonts and just find the one that you like but this is the font that i'm going to be going with today if you can't see the text uh, on the screen then you want to click on this little dot here the one on the left hand side and then it will show up on the left you may have to adjust the central of I don't even know how to explain it, but what I just did with dragging the screens and everything so you can see both of them. And then that way you can see what font you're selecting. Once you've chosen your font and you have the text that you like, you want to add that into the median in, media in, or in my case, transform, because I resized my background. You then want to copy and paste that text. So on Mac, I think it's Alt or Option C, and then change the text to whatever color you want for this i'm using a similar color to the light in the background because i'm pretending the light in the background is kind of you know illuminating the text is helping illuminate that and then shift space and look for the glow effect you want to add another glow effect so again shift space and find the glow effect and then for this one you're changing the glow size to around 50 you can kind of play around with it however you like but that's the tutorial told me 50 so that's what i went with you then want to add another glow effect and increase this glow size to around 150 200 again play around with it whatever you like it may differ depending on the size of the text or your scene or just what you prefer the look of with merge to selected go to the very start of the clip and head over to settings and then you want to set a keyframe at the very first frame go forward one or two frames and change this blend all the way down to zero and this will add a flicker effect and again you can choose to do this or not do this but head forward one or two frames for you know just the start of the clip you can do it for the whole thing if you want but i did it just for the first few seconds or first few frames actually it's less than a second of the clip just to make it flicker in and out i forgot as well uh the first text so the, the first one before you copy and pasted it make sure that's black not white you then have your neon flicker effects now what i also did just as a little add-on i went under my background layer layer and added a color corrector and i just adjusted the background brightness depending on whether or not the neon word was flickering on or off so that it looked like the background is being affected by the text which it would be in real life so you can add that in as well just to make it look a little bit more realistic and then the as final thing i did was i added a camera shake and just a small little zoom the third effect i got from the same video as the other two because i thought it looked kind of cool to be honest it's such a simple effect but it works quite well if you have like any sort of drone footage or or just anything really for this effect you want to head into fusion straight away and add a little text node and again whatever text you want for this, I'm just going with cinematic text because that's what it is. And you can set whatever font you please and whatever style, whatever size uh, you like. But to start the effect, once you've adjusted all these settings, you want to head back into the text box and right click and find follower. Head up to modifiers, which should now be available for you to click. And you want to change order to random, but one by one. And then head over to shading. And we're going to scroll down to softness and adjust the x and y to their maximum amount which is 20 and set a keyframe and then head forward into the footage at any point it doesn't really matter just wherever you want it to start and then you want to put these back down to zero and then you will have this
The fourth effect we have is the right on screen effect. Uh, for this one, again, head over into Fusion and you want to add a text node. For this one, again, font doesn't really matter, but it just looks a little bit better if it's kind of like a handwritey sort of font because, you know, it's supposed to be writing it on, so it works best if it looks like it's already handwritten. But once you have got the font that you want and the text that you want, you want to search for Mask Paint. You head up to this little brush here. You first of all, actually, once you've done the brush, you want to go over to mask and invert it so you can actually see the text because otherwise it would be quite difficult to paint it out. And then once you can see the text, you can adjust the brush controls to your liking. You want the size to be just a little bit bigger, preferably, than the, like, the widthiest part of one of the letters and adjust the softness to go you can either have it go all the way down or just have a little bit more. I had it a little bit more for two reasons. One, because I would have done it anyway, but two, because I was told to. And now you can just start painting out as if you've written it. So whatever, however you want it to come back onto the screen, basically. Once you have it written out, you can see all of the keyframes at the bottom by the timeline. But as you can see, when I get to the very end of my footage, it only, only half the B is on. Now what do we do to fix that? You need to head up to keyframes and zoom in. You can either zoom in using the little scroller or you can hold control and use the mouse wheel to zoom in. You wanna highlight all of your keyframes. You can see here, there are white little lines. Right click and click on time stretching. And now it will allow you to adjust the timing of the keyframes. And now you have your right on text. The final one is a text that I've liked to use quite a bit. It's the glitch text effect. Now for this one, you wanna add a basic title, just a normal title, and head up to Toolbox and search for Digital Glitch. Now you can't drag this on to the text just yet. Uh, so instead you wanna right click on that text layer and change it to a compound clip. And now it's basically just a normal video. So now you can drag the effect on and adjust the parameters to however you want. You can set keyframes, you can mess around with it, however you like it, however you want it to be really. But for me, I made the background glitch at the same time as the text. I also made the text fade on so it didn't just suddenly appear and then glitch back out again. I also adjusted the background so the text stood out a little bit more because it's white. So I desaturated it and made it a little bit darker whilst it was glitching on and then brought it back to life when the text disappeared. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed these five text effects. Subscribe.